Tonight, Fox 61 News has learned a car contaminated with cutaneous anthrax had been put up for sale at a dealership in Danbury. That after a father and son contracted the disease earlier this month. Investigative reporter Eric Zager is here with a story you'll see only on Fox 61. Susan is believed to have been the same car used to transport animal skins that infected those people. Tonight, every person involved with the cleanup and investigation is distancing themselves from the car. How this car, a 2,600, you can still see the sales sticker, wound up at this car dealership in Danbury is still not clear. I don't know. I know the law enforcement folks were handling that. The car was brought here only days after a father and son living in this house on Pandamaram Road took ill, breathing and touching bacteria from the spores of anthrax. Tow truck operator Tony Alves was called in to haul the car back to the house. What did they tell you when you showed up? Um, they pretty much told me it was the vehicle involved in the anthrax. A source tells us an employee at this dealership developed a rash after cleaning the car. What sickened him, we don't know. We were asked to leave the lot before getting an answer. State Health Department spokesperson William Garris says the employee did not contract anthrax. Garris says there are still only two cases and the public is not at risk. The health department traced the source of the cutaneous anthrax to animal skins from Africa used to make drums. No agency, not federal or state, will tell us how it is that someone managed to drive this car off property that's still not been decontaminated. Again, I'm dealing with the contamination that's here. That's what my charge is. The Federal Department of Environmental Protection intends to start cleaning the property on Friday. We are told infected father and son have responded well to treatment. What no one will say is how that car ended up on that car lot. Eric Zager, Fox 61 News at 10.